being able to use application containers, as we mentioned before, there's a lot of different ways that you can deploy these. So we're going to go through some of the primary examples um, and some of the ones that you may be asked questions for on the test. So here we're going to show securing an application container with an ASA firewall. So in this situation, we've got one or more internal networks. Those are identified by the ones that you're seeing there. So you've got network one, which is 10.10.10x. You've got network two, which is 10.10.20x. Uh, you also have one or more virtual machines. So those are referenced here in the diagram uh, showing that you that you've got two virtual machines, one that is splitting between the two uh, network segments and one that is only available on one network uh, segment. You also have the application container firewall. In this case, that's an ASA. So you're leveraging a physical piece of hardware in this case so that you can you know, use the ASA's configuration to be able to provide that security function out to the public or external network. So that gives you the ability to be able to support this type of container in this uh, scenario. So again, showing you how this would work, what it would look like within UCS Director, uh, and, and you know, really how this, uh, th these types of uh, containers would be used in this environment. You also have the ability to be able to use a secure application container with Cisco's Virtual Security Gateway. So we talked before about you know, how VSG provides segmentation. Um, so in this situation, we're going to see that we've got one or more internal networks as a requirement. We've got one or more virtual machines, just like before. But here we're going to use the Cisco Virtual Security Gateway for firewall services. That means we're going to have the prime network services controller that's going to be built into this uh, solution to be able to control how the, uh, the Virtual Security Gateway functions is going to work. In addition, I could also use a physical firewall if I chose, but here we're just basically showing you a simple uh, example here uh, of how you would be able to uh, uh, make this happen within the uh, secure application containers just using the virtual security gateway. So in addition to that, I've also got the ability to be able to use a secure application container with VAX. So VAX gives you much more flexibility in how you're actually going to be able, able to deploy this. So here we're showing that three-tier app container. We've got the uh, CSR1000V. I've got multiple segments that are being used um, you know, to be able to uh, segment the web tier from the app tier and the database tier. I'm using Virtual Security Gateway to provide, you know, that security segmentation between the virtual machines that exist here. And I'm using 1000V to be able to support NAT, layer three routing, all those other functions. So here's an example, again, of how you would leverage VAX in this type of scenario to be able to provide that application container functionality within UCS Director. So some of the different management tasks that you've got and that you can add to a container. First thing you can obviously do is you can add VMs. So once you build an application container, you can then add virtual machines to it. You also have the ability to be able to, to clone a container template. So once you build a template that you like, maybe one for a particular application, you can then clone that template to be able to reuse it as, in, in other application instances. You also have the ability to be able to do container power management. So you can manage the entire ca uh, container, individual VMs, individual components, or you can uh, manage it as a whole. You have the ability to be able to delete containers. Uh, you know, in the in a situation where you want to decommission a particular container, you can do that all from the interface itself. And of course, you also have the ability to be able to view reporting information. So you can see the pro uh, progress of the actual container itself, the statistics on utilization, anything that you uh, may need to, to get from a billing perspective, all this would be available from the viewing uh, of the reports for that particular container.